Okay, so we're part four of our five-part series. <clears throat> part one, get your time right. If you get your time right, it's got going to be a whole heck of a lot easier to get your scheduling right. And then once you have your time right, you have the opportunity to get your scheduling right. But there are data and science that suggests that there's certain ways to approach the people we're reaching out to. And when we hit those data points, people are much more apt, apt to respond to our voicemails, respond to our voice, um, emails, and our social media outreach. That art and science of outreach is impactful. Got to get your time right, then you can get that all of that stuff right, and then you can be really impactful with the personalization of your outreach. Third is how you open a meeting has a big impact on everything else that happens in that meeting, in particular, which leads us into step four, which is how a meeting closes. <clears throat> and we talked about when you open a meeting, there are certain questions that get people to think differently. And those questions are open-ended and they start with the word how. Okay, so, so that was that was that gets you caught up to where we are. Now part four is on closing. And we're gonna offer two really important thoughts and they're so so often overlooked, so seldomly executed on. And when you do, you will find that you will you are able to get people to take the steps that you want them to take very consistently. Okay. Thought one is in this day and age, with as much information that exists, people want to come to the conclusion that they need what you have, not the other way around. So often salespeople say, so often conversationalists say, here's what we do, here's why we do, and here's why you need it, here's how we're better then. And when we do things like that, it's us trying to convince people that what we have is what they need. That's not what people want anymore today. It is a, an, a, an official change of the dynamics of the human being to human being sales process. The second thing is, and this is this is, gets into like the science piece of it, is when we try and convince someone of something, our brains produce cortisol. Cortisol, as you probably know, is a stress hormone. The stress hormone says, I'm either going to fight or flight. So when you go to close, you remember, goal number one is I'm not trying to convince anyone of anything but rather, which is point number two, I'm trying to help them come to the conclusion that they need what we have. And how I do that is by helping them make the decision, not me trying to make the decision for them. Good selling, everyone. Hey, subscribe below.